Hello and welcome again to another reading from the book, The Faith I Live By, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled, Eating for Health and Happiness, August 12th. Whether therefore ye eat or drink, or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31 Here is a principle which lies at the foundation of every act, thought, and motive. The consecration of the entire being, both physical and mental, to the control of the Spirit of God. Even the natural act of eating or drinking should be done to the glory of God. If the indulgence of appetite was so strong upon the race that, in order to break its power, the divine Son of God, in behalf of man, was required to fast nearly six weeks, what a work is before the Christian, in order that he may overcome even as Christ overcame. The strength of the temptation to indulge perverted appetite can be measured only by the inexpressible anguish of Christ in that long fast in the wilderness. As our first parents lost Eden through the indulgence of appetite, our only hope of regaining Eden is through the firm denial of appetite. God has furnished man with abundant means for the gratification of an unperverted appetite. He has spread before him the products of the earth, a bountiful variety of food that is palatable to the taste and nutritious to the system. Of these our benevolent Heavenly Father says we may freely eat. Fruits, grains and vegetables prepared in a simple way free from spice and grease of all kinds make with milk or cream the most healthful diet they give a power of endurance and vigor of intellect that are not produced by a stimulating diet we do not mark out any precise line to be followed in diet but we do say that in countries where there are fruits, grains, and nuts in abundance, flesh food is not the right choice for God's people. If meat eating was ever healthful, it is not safe now. Again and again, I have been shown that God is trying to lead us back, step by step, to his original design that man should subsist upon the natural products of the earth. Thank you for listening today. I trust that you have received the message God had in store for you. God's peace be upon you. Maranatha.